working around the clock to devise a protocol to make it safe for you to return back home. When? Give me a timetable. I want out of this hospital. I know. I know you do, but you just had a major setback. We can't just let you walk out the door. Okay, let's talk about the setback. Hmm. Hell, let's talk about my mystery condition. What aren't you telling me? Morning, Daddy. Everyone's still alive after Valentine's first night here? Well, I just got up. No signs of bloodshed yet. Probably the calm before the storm. keeping you cooped up here watching you eat orange gelatin. That's not an answer to my question. If I could tell you, I would. Then find out. What's taking so long? I'm doing the best I can. I don't know how many times we have to go over this. I don't. I mean, I can't have you at your apartment spiking a fever that could send you into a seizure. You remember what happened the other day? I left you alone for five minutes. I came back you were at 105 and delirious. What if you were alone at home and you couldn't get any help and I couldn't get to you? I'm sure we could find a way to keep me safe. Yes. Yes, we have that. It's called being at the hospital. Why is Valentin Cassinine strutting around here half naked? He just strolled right into my bedroom wearing nothing but a towel and a look of astonishment. Lucky you. Olivia doesn't think so. Would someone please tell me what is going on here? What the hell is that man doing in this house? You mean no one bothered to tell you? Tell me what? What's going on? Oh, what, are you two a couple now? No! Wait, what if we were? They're not. Okay, so let's just move on. Valentine and Charlotte are living here for the time being. They're what? Wasn't my idea originally, but upon further consideration, it actually makes kind of bizarre sense. And like Valentine said, this house has more wings than quarter mains. Good morning, Olivia. Sorry for the sudden intrusion. Apparently, you don't believe in knocking. The hell were you doing anyway? I was under the impression that Charlotte and I had the guest wing all to ourselves. I thought we were alone in there. Well, you thought wrong, didn't you? Liv, why were you in the guest wing? I've been sleeping in the guest wing ever since you left the house. The room just doesn't feel right without you in it. Can't sleep in our bed, alone. I've been having trouble sleeping too. Okay, we're getting off topic here. My question was, what are you and Charlotte doing camping out here when I gave you the best suite at the Metro Court? I am keeping an eye on Brooklyn because she insists on ditching her security detail. That's just an excuse. The truth is he doesn't trust me. And Monica's okay with all of this. Monica is surprisingly on board. It is her house. Catch us on quick. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. Valentine saw Olivia naked. I was not naked! Not entirely. And this one was the one prowling the hallway in nothing but a towel. Well, Valentine will be appropriately attired from here on out. Too bad, I kind of like the towel look on you. Likewise, I'm sure. All right, I live in a madhouse! 